Welcome back, back to the greatest cookie show in human history. history. Today we're making a giant vegan Oreo for the giant man that I am. I'm not five foot, I'm nine, uh, six inches. My back's starting to hurt. No, it's not. No, it's, it's not. That's a bit. Ow! Ah. Cam is gonna be carving some ice layer, which is pretty cool to look at. I'm actually being serious, I'm really hot. I'm but, really but, but no, if we hit back, <gasps> we're, a, we're a 10 foot tall man <laughs> with a big appetite for a big Oreo. <laughs> Ah, uh, now we're just two regular sized men. That's Hollywood kids. Now, let's make the giant vegan Oreo. You How big are we talking for the end product? Like this. Do a real smile, Do look happy with your smile. This is my real smile. And the smile's not reaching your eyes. It's happy here, pained, and, and depressed up here. Anyway, what is this? Uh, this is a scale. And what does a scale do? A scale measures um, weight. Okay, you guys following? Who's this guy? <laughs> it's me, Cam, I, I'm your roommate. Where am I? I'm, I'm the, we're in the show, we're making the we're greatest cooking show. Kitchen. kitchen. You're, you're, you're in your apartment, your bedroom. We like live here together, and I'm your friend. You're Thomas Darhair, okay? You were raised in Connecticut. You know who you are. What did mommy used to sing to you in the crib? Baby Bottoms. Sing it. Baby Bottoms, Baby Bottoms. That's where the poopy comes. <laughs> need 125 grams of flour. This measures weight. And the more he pours in, the higher the number goes. 20 grams, 20 grams of, of cocoa, cocoa powder. powder. Unbranded cocoa powder, because yeah. we, don't, we don't bow to any sponsors on this show, unless sponsors want to pay us, in which case we'll bow, uh, suck, and uh, anything else. What? Huh? Did he say suck? Whoa, that tastes funky. Ugh. Stop eating it. A pinch of salt. That's the perfect amount. And now, mm. the confectioner's sugar. Half a cup? Half cup. Normally you'd need a machine to whisk it. We've got the next best thing. My right arm. <laughs> and Lord knows I'm using it these days. This thing goes a thousand beats per minute. So is that crude? Oh, cr a little bit crude, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. This is his toothbrushing hand. Do you mind if I film you guys at a different angle? Safe. I went to film school. Safety regulations. 140 grams of butt eye. Do you have a knife? Do we have a knife? <laughs> We're a goddamn cooking show. <laughs> I hope so. We're a knife shit hand. I swear to God, we got a knife right wait, here. Wait, how long have we doing the show for? Is this a knife? Is this a knife? What's this is that? It's not a knife, that's a spatula. Is this a knife? What is this? Looks like a. I mean, it could be a knife. What is. What is that? Grab your knife. No. Oh, oh, no. no. God damn it. Is this a knife? Can't. No, damn. Tommy, that's a chair. That's a stool. It's not a knife. This is a knife. No, no, that's oh, a knife. Oh, damn it. What is this? A knife? No, it's not. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's Wait a second, I found it. Oh. <laughs> it was in the knife drawer. If that makes the edit, I will give you $10 in cash. What? Dude, I think that's definitely gonna make the edit. That's definitely gonna make the edit. You guys proved me wrong. Knew it. Don't ever forget it. Don't. Down you go. Okay, stop. <laughs> Someone's at the door! Oh, it's Austin Kevin! It's Austin. Three frame, two, one. Do you shave your chest? No. You, you just you wax it or it just grows like that? <laughs> My normal chest. Totally. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Austin Kevich, thank you so much for being here. Um, how excited are you? Very, thanks for having me. Austin's my brother. Oh, sorry, yeah, Austin, this is, uh, so for those of you who don't know, Tristan, our cameraman, it's his, it's his brother. So we got two Kevichs in, in the kitchen tonight. I'm a little nervous, to be honest. Yeah, we, we know how to fix that. Spin that wheel! Spin that wheel! Spin that wheel! I'll do a shot. Is that a new tie? What do you mean? Uh, it, looks, it looks different. This one? Seems appropriate length. You want it actually the whole series. Uh, Whiskey's usually our go-to, this Canadian club. I like whiskey, yeah. Brilliant. Um, let's get the brothers in the frame. Get together. Oh. <laughs> Tell me, get out of there. Welcome to the greatest show in human history. Yes. Awesome. My dad's gonna love this. Too many more. Too many Too more. more. I'm okay. an amateur magician. If I gave you a deck of cards, could you do some shit? Yeah. It sounded like the start of First I was afraid I, I was petrified So you're back What's this? Um, sure What oh. apartment is it? Uber driver said I left something Okay What did I leave? Hey, I'm the Uber driver um, Austin left his mask in my car I'll get uh, that for you Thank you Thanks um, Can I put you in the bathroom quickly? What? Just for like two minutes Uh, one second I don't know if it's comfortable him doing number one in my toilet <laughs> I guess if his cheeks not touching the seat, it's okay. I mean, the, the fact that he's asking. I mean, yeah, you can. Yeah. No, you're. Oh, good. I'll be quick. Yeah. Yeah. Bathroom's there on the right. Did you get 
An Uber Lux? Why is he dressed so well? Anyway, we'll, we'll just continue with the magic trick. Okay, think of a card. Tell Cam. The Five of Diamonds. Now think of the card in your head. You got the card? Mm-hmm. All of you? Watch the deck carefully. Give it three taps. Oh my god! Oh, that's the five, five Diamonds. That's the Five Diamonds. Where did you put it? How did you? Oh my, where did it go? Where? It was on the, it was on the ceiling and you put it there and, and then, Tom, Tom Tommy. Tommy? Oh my What's that? god! What's that? What's that? Is, What's this, that? is this your card? It's the five of diamonds. That's the card that he thought of, everyone. Sorry, it's, just, it's been well over two minutes. Oh, oh. oh, oh my oh. god! Oh. I just needed to go. Did he actually poop? Uh, we'll just five leave stars. him. We'll leave him in here. God damn it. Okay, so back to the recipe. Put in the butter. For the Oreo cookie we're making. Alright, maybe I should use my hands. Sorry, can we stop? What are you- this is so much worse than before. What do you mean? Because most of the ingredients are on your fingers. So in this week's episode of The Jukes, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a clear cube of ice. Now most people tell me, hey Cam, you can- Most people tell me, and you can just say this to me. Cam, most people just buy those big ice cube trays. Most people just buy these big ice cube trays. Cam. And you put them in the freezer and you get a big ice cube. And you put them in the freezer and you just get a big ice cube. WRONG! And the reason they're wrong is because when you put those ice cube trays in the freezer, they come out frosty and not clear. Which is fine for most people, but not for us. First step to clear ice, taking a beer cooler roughly this size, and you're just gonna fill it up with water till up to about an inch high. And we'll put that in the freezer for 24 hours. Oh, oh, that's, that's 24 hours on the dot. Let's check on that ice. Put it face down on the chopping board so it can get out of the case. Maybe we could use this 10, five minutes to interview Austin about something. Tell us, what's it like being the best cabbage in the room at all times? Uh, you know, it's pretty, uh, oh, so interesting. Like, oh, okay. Wait, I'm so what are you going to use? Think of the show. I just need to get away, sir. What's going on? You told mom and dad that you're working on a normal cooking show. What the f is this? It's a... Uh, you got a college degree, you don't need to be doing this. You don't think there's any opportunity here? No. I can tell you it's a tough world over there. I'm doing 16 hour days. Right, I'm sorry, I'm trying to have a conversation with my brother. Sorry. Once it's sat for a bit, the ice will fall out on its own, because it's going to be a big pocket of water. I hear myself coming out of here. <laughs> this is where the mallet comes in. You got the teeth in. Ooh, bingo. Oh. And then I'll take this usually and carve it. It's actually really cool. Looks like he's journaling. I guess you consider that journaling, right? And now we take our final cubes and keep them in the freezer for whenever you want to use them. Oh, uh, hey. Hey, cheers hey. for that, guys. I really right. appreciate it. Hey, yeah, is everything okay in there? He didn't tip me. That's why I didn't flush. I didn't even know you could tip on Uber. Hey, come back here. The least we can do is make you a drink. Round of applause to our new guest. What's your name? Uh, Steve. Steve. Hey, uh, get the camera a freeze frame. And that is a beautiful final product, your goddamn clear ice. Steve, that's made specially for you. Cool. Welcome to the greatest cooking show in human history. Back to the, the Oreo. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm flattening it to make it into a circle. Now put them into the oven. Uh, hey honey, I'm gonna be a bit back a bit late today. I shouldn't be too long, but... Now, time for the filling. Pour one and a half cups of powdered sugar into a bowl. And then 65 grams of butter. Vegan butter. You really go f***ing hard. How come you wear a suit for the Uber Sorry. driving? It's not about me. It's about the customer. It's about showing respect for the customer. Do you want to play Fortnite after this? Like, you go to the yeah, actually, suit. it would be mine. Really? Now that's how you f***ing make it, baby. Pretty impressive, actually. Like that. Tell me what this tastes like. Well, I'm kind of a bit like... Against yeah. germs and stuff. Shit in a stranger's toilet. Final steps. What the f is this? It's a broken spatula. What do you think it is? Time to make the Oreo. Oh, oh f No, 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 we can fix this. All right, well, the icing will hold it together. Put the icing so on. you your perfect base biscuit. And so I guess we'll take the icing now. Here we go, you ready? Welcome to my Oreo factory. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's an Oreo. Gee, goodness gracious, it's an Oreo. Steve, glad you're here. Go on and take a seat. Oh, thank you. I'll be the first to say this didn't turn out as planned. Let's cheers our scoops to new friends. New friends. New friends. Mm. <laughs> that is really good. It tastes pretty sweet. Tommy, Tommy, yeah, Tommy. <laughs> no. Oh, 
Oh my god! Greatest scripting show in human history! If you ever want like a really good massage, go to any massage base that's like kind of almost underneath like a motorway, like they're the really good ones, he'll give you like extra services. <laughs>